right, we got thumbs up and we are ready to go. Let's open up the door to Daily with Doc. My name is Becca Dukes and as the hostess of this program, I am excited to have you watching because like myself, I thought I was doing everything right. I'm doing everything right. Why do I feel so horrible? Why do I still have this going on and this going on and this going on? Well, it actually comes down to it that um, hacking through your health uh, little, goes a little deeper than what uh, we might think. And today, we are going to be talking about the metabolic syndrome with my mentor and somebody that I am basic. I can say thank you for saving my life, Doc. And I am honored to be able to share this information and program to help others. Thank you so much for sharing. But don't you get started yet, because I'm not done. <laughs> this program is not meant to take the place of your primary care physician, nor are the products meant to treat, diagnose, or cure any disease. The FDA requires us to tell you this. But folks, the FDA did not create the body. And when the body is given what it was designed from, and it gets those raw ingredients so it can continue to not just survive, but thrive, the body itself can do some amazing stuff. And that is part of what we're going to be sharing with you today, including diving in and uncovering some of the things that go deeper than just blood sugar when it comes to metabolic syndrome. I myself was diagnosed with metabolic syndrome and when I was diagnosed with it, all that I was told about had to do with blood sugar and insulin resistance. Well, it goes much deeper into that. And since I have discovered that and figured it out and working with the good doctor that we have here today, I have been able to overcome all of those symptoms that have been said to be associated with metabolic syndrome. And it is not genetic. Folks, the doctor that we have with us today is one of the founding fathers of the science of epigenetics. Epigenetics proves that the genetic theory of disease transmission is false, incorrect, not true. So if you have been told that you have a genetic condition, chances are your mom may have had it, your grandma may have had it, your father, your grandfather, your aunts, your uncles, but it's not because of genes or genetics. It has to do with what we're putting in our bodies, but most importantly, what we're not putting in our bodies. Now, you can't see on the screen right now, but one of my favorite books, in fact, this is my second book of hope, the book Epigenetics was a book that as I got this and started reading it, because I thought I had so many different genetic conditions, I'm like, I can overcome. I don't have to have all of those conditions that I've started already see the symptoms of that the rest of my family and those older than me have. And these are things that I, there are, things, these are symptoms that I started having when I was as young as eight. So folks, sit back. You are in for some eye-opening information. And if you were invited here by somebody specific, we want to make sure that you get back with them. They cared enough to share this program, whether live or replay, they cared enough about you. So make sure that you get back with them, tell them thank you, and also ask them how you can choose that journey to better health. Without further ado, oh, this program is being sponsored by Daily with Doc. So that's dailywithdoc.com. You will find replays of our programming. You can also find our replays on 
our parent channels of critical health news that's out on youtube rumble spotify instagram uh tell um x used to be twitter still twitter not quite sure where that's going right now um facebook apple tv fire tv roku tv all these different areas we want to know where you're at so if there's an option to send us a message or write a comment please do so and most importantly like share subscribe whatever it is and tell a friend tell a friend because you're not hearing this information by accident and there's going to be somebody that you know as we're going through today's program that could benefit from the information here as well so i'm going to bring to the screen with me the one the only man of the hour dr joel wallach as i mentioned he is one of the founding fathers of the science of epigenetics and this all started by him as a student in a pathology lab and having a whole load of lambs that had passed away for no apparent reason he found the cause he also found uh well one he found why and then he found the cause and that kind of led to him and all of his journey in finding solutions so with almost thirty thousand autopsies under his belt a bachelor of science in agriculture plant and soil sciences a doctor of veterinary medicine three post doctorates in pathology and then decided to become a naturopathic physician as well i am honored to be able to host this program to for somebody that has received the Klaus schwartz award he's also received an award from the united nations for his Philanthropy and all of the work that he has done throughout his lifetime. Dr. Joel Wallach. Hello, Dr. Wallach. Hello, Becca. Hello, team. Thank you so much uh, for making this information available to the world. And um, uh, we are, are seeing results, which is a good thing. We just have to keep our foot on the pedal and make sure that we don't just say, okay, well, we've done our job. No, 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 no. We have just begun. They've just begun and we're having all these young people coming along joining in and, and you know earning their um what earning all their um saddles and motors and parachutes and all things they need to do to get this message out there so we're very very proud of what's happening and it's just the beginning it's just the beginning well dr well like eat just the beginning you've already written 24 books you're working on a 25th one um which i'm excited about because it was a big part of what was keeping me from being able to reach optimal health as far as a diagnosis now we don't look at diagnoses with those big names and trying to figure out okay what does that mean we actually look at symptoms because the body itself you have discovered that when it's mineral deficient and nutrient deficient, that can lead to over 600 different poor health symptoms. So with, with me, when I was told that I had metabolic syndrome, I had insulin resistance, I wasn't diabetic yet, but I was like teeter-tottering on that line um i at that time i was two 280 pounds at five foot seven i i thankfully my blood pressure was still good which i had been on a program to overcome metabolic syndrome for more than a year and it became worse so doc share with us what you have discovered in regards to metabolic syndrome because as we're looking at what the the heart attack and stroke symptoms this is coming from heart.org they're saying high blood glucose low levels of the good cholesterol 
high levels of triglycerides in the in the blood, uh, large waist circumference. Yep. Um, and high blood pressure. So I think we can go a little bit deeper into that because there's there's more to it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, the bottom line um, is the raw materials. Okay, and the disease you've been mentioning are the results of the lack of these raw materials. Uh, we require we require 90 essential nutrients, 16 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 minerals, and three fatty acids. And again, prior to, we, you've heard this story many times, Prior to um, 1882, uh, we were using wood and coal as fuel for cooking and for heating and for light and chasing off bad guys and predators at night and so forth. Mm -hmm. And we would use the wood ashes and coal ashes as a fertilizer in our gardens. And of course, the wood ashes and coal ashes had minerals in it that the plants had taken up and um, it was in the food. Um, then we also um, had um the, the the same thing going on uh with um let's see 1900 just about everybody in america was using electricity and we had given up wood and, and coal as fuel and we gave up our source of nutritional minerals which we have been using for three thousand years the wood ashes and coal ashes and nobody said well we got to replace all the minerals we we're given up by going to electricity nobody said that they said oh we have all this new stuff going on here. It must be a genetic thing because they couldn't figure it out. So they, they blamed it on genetics. And that's how that all got going. And of course, the reason why I was able to see all this, I'm seeing pathology in 462 species of animals and human beings, free ranging animals, zoo animals. And so there's a free ranging animals eating the natural foods and, a free, and the same species in the zoos eating you know, uh, stuff of all kinds. And so um, the, 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 the sort of broad view of the metabolic syndrome, uh, doctors want you to believe it's a genetic disease. It's not, okay. Uh, the metabolic syndrome is a, a collection of nutritional deficiency diseases, okay. And one of the first things that shows up is a behavior called PICA. PICA, P-I-C-A, you can look it up in any dictionary to tell you, oh, there's people who are in animals that are minerally deficient. They eat a whole lot of different things. They'll eat 10, 12, 15, 20 meals a day looking for the minerals they're missing. Now, they don't know what they're doing. They just feel hungry. I don't know why I, I ate a big meal an hour ago. I'm hungry again, so I'll eat again. Oh, then two hours later, you're hungry again, eat again. And so that's why people, one of the first symptoms of the metabolic syndrome is obesity, abdominal obesity. Then um, going along with that was uh, diabetes. Okay. After that was high blood pressure. Okay. And let's see here. You also had um, stroke, uh, elevated triglycerides. Um, I already said high blood pressure, but there's another couple of pieces here. Okay, yep, I can't get my light right. There we go. A couple of things. These these symptoms afflict 25% of all Americans. 25% of all Americans have the metabolic syndrome. 25% of all Americans have the metabolic syndrome. This is according to the National Institutes of Health, okay? NIH. Okay, then um, these symptoms occur more frequently, okay? Uh, in racial and ethnic minorities because of their diets. Even though they moved here from other countries, they keep eating their old recipes, which was, came with them from their countries. And they're eating vegetables were only fertilized with three minerals. We need 60 minerals. Plants only need three to make good seeds for the next generation. We need 60. And so we're 57 short. That's why we have all these problems, okay? So we're working on a short little brief uh, book to add to our book, uh, It's All in Your Head, okay? It'll be kind of a, another uh, chapter or sequence or I don't know what you would call it, uh, a part of that book, another issue inside that book, It's All in Your Head. 
Uh, chapter one, the title is, what is the metabolic syndrome? Well, the metabolic syndrome is multiple nutritional deficiencies, primarily mineral deficiencies, and you get all these diseases. And um, this is really makes the, the doctors do very well. Uh, arthritis, for instance, um, we spend just to treat the symptoms in America, just to treat the symptoms of arthritis, $626.7 billion just to treat the symptoms, not to prevent or cure arthritis. That's just for Americans. Okay, and of course, insurance pays for that. People are happy because the doctors give them drugs to relieve the symptoms, but not the disease itself. Okay, mm -hmm. so they have to give you a prescription every month for the rest of your life. Okay, if they're doing it that way. And then comes osteoporosis. 6.7 trillion with a T, 6.7 trillion dollars we're spending just to treat the symptoms of osteoporosis. Okay. And this is a, a collection, a uh, joint figure from the United States, Canada, and the UK, 6.7 trillion. So you add the 6.7 trillion to 626.7 billion, we have $7 trillion we're spending just to, to treat the symptoms of osteoporosis and arthritis. This is criminal. This is absolutely crim criminal because they're just simple nutritional deficiency diseases. Okay. And then that's, that's, that's what, um, again, PICA is all about and causes it because you're eating six, eight, 10 meals a day. That's why you got to be 250 pounds. Okay. It's constantly snacking. Well, I was just snacking. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, abdominal obesity. We already covered that. Uh, diabetes is a very simple nutritional efficiency of a single mineral. Very easily uh, reversed. I don't care if you've had it for 25 years, had diabetes for 25 years. I, I get rid of diabetes in seven to 10 to 15 days. Just put them on the healthy brain and heart pack and give them extra sweeties. Um, let's see here. High blood pressure. Again, it's very simple nutritional deficiencies. And so we came up with the beyond, let's see here, um, ultimate daily. There we go. Ultimate daily classic. Ultimate daily classic. will open up the arteries in your heart, your lungs, uh, your kidneys, and get you to start getting blood flowing properly and the blood pressure in the proper levels with the beyond us, excuse me, beyond, yeah, beyond. Um, osteoethics? Yeah, osteo, yeah, osteoethics, I'm having things falling off the desk here, sorry. Okay, beyond osteoethics, okay. And it's one of those things where I just, Love, you know, love these products and you, you cannot fail. When you take these products, you're going to get that um, blood pressure down. Ultimate Daily Classic, that's the one I like. Ultimate Daily Classic, Ultimate Daily Classic, Ultimate Daily Classic, okay? I take three of those twice a day and um, my blood uh, pressure and blood sugar just kind of hang out like it's supposed to. And then, of course, um, GI problems, uh, you get problems with your stomach and your intestines and because they're eating gluten, wheat, butter, iron, oats, and buckwheat, buckwheat pancakes on the weekend, okay, and um, spaghetti and um, cereals and oatmeal and stuff like that during the week, uh, bread, cookies, crackers, pie, all that kind of stuff, you're getting all that gluten, cannot absorb nutrients even if you're supplementing. But well, I took supplements, didn't help me any. Well, what do you eat for breakfast? Or more? I have oatmeal for breakfast every morning. Well, that's why. Because you're killing your intestines, so you cannot absorb nutrition. Then the thyroid, you know, one of the things you cannot absorb, even if you're supplementing with it, is the iodine that goes along to make your thyroid happy. And suddenly now, you don't have any energy. I'm just tired all the time. I just want to sit and eat, and uh, before I'm done with eating, I'll fall asleep. Okay? and uh, so forth. And so that's why we have the, um, or let's see here. What, what do you like for, uh, Rebecca, what do you like for, for thyroid? For thyroid? Well, Dr. Wallach, there's so many different things that can be taken for thyroid. Of course, iodine is something that helps to support the thyroid. Yeah, well, but... that's, all part, that's all part of the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack. It's well, the, the 
Well, it's not specifically in the brain and heart pack. The ocean's gold and also the fucoid Z help with the thyroid. Yeah, I, 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 go, with, I go with the ocean's gold. Right, but there's there's one more thing to this, Dr. Wallach, and that's the hypothalamus support. So when you support the hypothalamus, that also supports the pituitary gland and also the thyroid and the adrenal gland. Well, there you go. So that's like a, a four crown winner right there, Dr. Wallach, but it's not to be taken all by itself. It's to be taken- Healthy brain and heart pack. The healthy body, brain and heart pack. Absolutely. Okay, then I also like, um, well, we already talked about the osteoporosis and arthritis and the central nervous system diseases are all part of the, the um, uh, metabolic syndrome, okay? central nervous system and this is why people they get all these problems with their brain and spinal cord and we have the the flip chart it, it highlights all this okay on page i think it's uh, 26 and 27 it goes into i don't know like 25 different diseases and then of course you read the rest of that chapter you get another 25 diseases that are caused by a cholesterol deficiency you heard me my doctor says cholesterol blocks your arteries. No, that's not true. Cholesterol only blocks your arteries when you fry your food and you turn cholesterol from something good into something bad, okay, by frying in it. So, Dr. Wallach, sugar also contributes to bad cholesterol. Oh, absolutely. Which people don't understand. It's, it's not eggs that are giving you bad cholesterol. It's those fried foods and sugars. Yeah, you said the right word, bad cholesterol, because cholesterol starts out good. The good Lord made it. It also makes up the basic part of our sex hormones for both males and females, cholesterol, okay? So you get rid of cholesterol, there ain't nobody home anymore when it comes to sex. And then of course, um, all your other hormones just go away because you do need the cholesterol to turn into your, your white matter, your brain, your white matter, your spinal cord, the white matter in this, the spinal coverings of the nerves, the cranial nerves, the spinal nerves. <clears throat> and you know, these nerves go from your brain all the way down to your toes and they need the insulation around them. So that this, the, the little thing that your brain put in there to get down to your toes gets down to your toes. If you didn't have all the insulation around your nerves, it wouldn't go three inches before it dissipated and you wouldn't have anything happening. And so um, this is why we're coming up with this little um, book add-on, okay? The metabolic syndrome is gonna be very, very, what should I say, very specific. And it's gonna blow your mind because the, the metabolic syndrome traps so many people Babies can be born with it. It's not an age thing. It's not a genetic thing. It's a nutritional deficiency thing. And so this is very well explained uh, in the book, Epigenetics is, is explained in the book, um, Rare Earths Forbidden Cures. I like those two books to be your family doctor, Rare Earths Forbidden Cures and Epigenetics. Because when you look up the diseases in those books, It'll tell you the cause, prevention, and cure, okay? Doctors tend to only give you treatments for the symptoms, which give you initial happiness, but then two years later, you die. Well, what about these? Oops, not that one. These two books, Doc. Oh, those two books are great. Um, taking some of the information out of both of them to be the sort of uh, introduction to this uh, little book, um, The Metabolic Syndrome. So um, you need to read this section in the, in the beginning. It gives my history. And it tells you about all the autopsies I've done and, and so forth and all the various diseases I've discovered uh, that were caused by nutrition, not by genetics and things. It's all in that book in the front end. In the first couple of pages, okay, and where it says about the authors, uh, there's a whole section on myself. There's a whole section on Dr. Milan. And it's one of those things where 
it'll blow your mind how diseases were created after 1882 when we went to electricity because we didn't have the wood ashes and coal ashes anymore to get our source of nutritional minerals that we had been getting for 3,000 years. Right. Well, well, Dr. Wallach, you know, there's so much that we don't hear from our doctor, and it's not because they don't want to tell us in many cases. They haven't had the education and training themselves. That's right. Um, Doctors get taught this. They, they don't have any contact or experience uh, with it, um, if you start talking about these things, they'll just walk away and wave their hands, say bye, because they think you're crazy. Well, they didn't learn about it in medical school, Doctor Wallach. So it can't when you be don't true. About... If they didn't, if they didn't learn it in medical school, it can't be true. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, Doctor Wallach, I'm excited for your next book. Um, so we don't have an ETA on that, but it will be coming sooner than later. And we'll make sure that we let everybody know when it is available. And you can find Dr. Wallach's books at drjwallach.com. That is D-R-J-Wallach, W-A-L-L-A-C-H dot com. Well, Dr. Wallach, we have some hands up. I have some questions that have come to me as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the question part of this program. Now, folks, just as a reminder, if you were invited to this program by somebody specific, make sure that you get back with them um, and say, hey, Dr. Wallach mentioned some things that really touched my heart because I'm affected by them or somebody I know may be affected by them. I want to get on his program so that I can feel the difference as well. And folks, you're going to want to be on this a minimum of 90 days. So make sure that you get on that auto ship that takes care of the shipping and save you a little bit of money there. And it also keeps you from uh, getting to the end of the bottle and then realizing, oh, no, I'm out. So, Dr. Wallach. Um, well, I want to thank you for all that, but I want to make sure they, they didn't misunderstand you. You said you'd be on this for 90 days. No, you're going to be on this for the rest of your life. Okay, but well, in 90 days, the, you should see results. Yes, you're going to be on the 90 for the rest of your life because that's that's where life started, Dr. Wallach. Taken from the minerals of the earth. So how can we expect to remain strong if we don't keep the minerals going in, right? That's correct. <clears throat> All yep. right. Yeah, there's uh, 60 different minerals we need. Plants only need three. So I'm eating all these beautiful plants for my salads. And my breakfast and my grains in the morning. Well, they're only getting three minerals. You need 60. You're only 57 short. <laughs> only 57 short. That's right. And folks, if the minerals are not in the ground that the plants are grown in, plants cannot create their own minerals. Vitamins, yes. Phytonutrients, yes. But not minerals. So make sure that you get back with the person that shared this program with you. If there is no one to thank and you are not currently working with or have spoken to somebody previously, we do have a call team standing by at 855-949-3377. Again, that's 855-949-3377. And make sure that you go to our website, sign up for our email list. If you have questions, you can submit your questions through that website and sign up as well and if you are not currently working with somebody you can find the products that dr wallach will be mentioning there as well so let's go to the first hand that is up and we have aj aj go ahead and unmute yourself what questions are you bringing to the table today hey dr wallach how are you fabulous sir how are you doing doing fantastic Great to see you. Be Always you. good to see you, sir, and all the great things you do. How, how can we help you today? You know, I got I got a, a one straightforward question and a couple uh, funny cat questions that I hope you can help us with. One woman has taken a young, longevity product, Mighty 90, and she is concerned that she always has a very, um, she's always hungry. She's, she's, she she feels like she's often hungry and she's wondering what she can do about it 
and if she's underdosing on her nutrients, which she may be doing, uh, but she's she's constantly hungry. Okay, well, that was part of my introduction today. Uh, she has what's called pica, when you're just hungry all the time, just want, want to eat, want to eat, want to eat, want to eat, want to eat. I eat three good meals a day. Why do I want to eat all the time? Well, there's, there's she eating wheat, barley, rye, and oats for breakfast. Is she eating oatmeal for breakfast? Is she eating uh, that sort of stuff? Is she eating um, uh, buckwheat for breakfast? Uh, and of course, um, even if she's supplementing with all these nutrients, if she's eating those um, uh, various forms of grains, they will wipe out the villi, those little finger-like projections in her intestines that increase the, the um, um, square footage of absorptive surface in the intestines. It cuts it by 99%. Okay, if you're eating wheat, barn around oats and buckwheat. So it's one of those things where um, what she can do is add, and I do this, I have an ounce, okay, of the herbal rainforest with breakfast, okay, and my dinner, along with my other things like our plant-derived minerals, okay, and um, so forth. And then... Um, the every time she craves a meal have a shot of the plant derived minerals the plant derived minerals okay there's no calories there to speak of and in, in just a few moments it'll relieve her cravings which are called pica p-i-c-a caused by mineral deficiencies thank you thank you we'll i will absolutely let her know that uh this woman also has Two cats are in some trouble, and uh, one has feline leukemia, and then it says one has feline AIDS. Never heard that before. And uh, is, is anything she can do, she's mentioning that the one cat refuses to try the Arthrodex. Okay. Well, that's a selective behavior, isn't it? Okay. And so then... Um, the uh, Arthur Dex, of course, I had that written down here for the cats, but also um, they need to put an ounce of the plant derived minerals in every pint of their drinking water. Ounce to a pint, okay. Yeah, you know, in a bowl where they get their drinking water and um, make sure that if there's three bowls in the house, there's gotta be, you know, ounce per pint in each one of those three bowls. Uh, the, use the and plant-derived minerals. Okay. That is what we will do, Doc. Thank you very, very much. Well, thank you, sir. You're you're an angel. You're doing great work. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Dr. Wallach, I just want to ask a couple of questions in, re in addition to um, the arthrodex or the plant-derived minerals. Thank you. Um, with the leukemia, whether it's animal or human, that's a condition of the bone marrow. Is that leukemia? correct? Leukemia. Yeah, leukemia is looked upon as a um, cancer of the bone marrow. Now, uh, in some cases, there's viruses associated with it. In some cases, there's not. Okay. The leukemia is a disease of the bone marrow. And of course, again, Minerals, 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 minerals. Okay. Herbal rainforest, and then herbal rainforest, and then herbal rainforest, and then plant-derived minerals. Okay, and for those that don't know, the herbal rainforest has plant-derived minerals in it, plus it's either 16 or 17 15, cleansing 15, herbs. 15, yeah, 15 herbs that reduce herbs. inflammation. Yeah, reduce inflammation and support the immune system. There's 15 different um her, uh, herbs okay and a minimum of 70 sometimes there's 75 but somewhere between 70 and 75 minerals depending on you have eight sources of those plant minerals right and depending on what right. uh, mine you're coming from well and that actually brings up a question because there's a question by by olga from the uk wanting to know about herbal rainforest and what is the best way to take herbal rainforest well um I take it, like I say, you say with all my other stuff, I take a lot of stuff, but I take an ounce of the herbal rainforest with breakfast and dinner. 
And if I'm going to be uh, doing a lot of something outside in the yard where I'm sweating or going to go bowling or something like that, I'll have another or a third shot that day of the herbal rainforest. So the herbal rainforest, Dr. Wallach, yes, it gives you the, the plant-dried minerals, but those cleansing herbs help to keep you regular. They help you keep your regular bowel movements, but they also um, detoxify you. It helps you get rid of toxic things in the environment and your that you're breathing in, that you're eating and you're drinking in and so forth. And so that's the purpose of that. And it, it uh, supports the activities of your brain and your eyes and your heart and your lungs and your liver and your kidneys and, and your intestines and so forth. I just love that herbal rainforest. It's, it's uh, one of our great products that we invented. And it tastes good. And it tastes good, yeah. <laughs> and it tastes good. But you don't want to take too much at, all at once. Now, Dr. Wallach, we have another question. And this is coming from uh, one of our coaches, Claudia. She's wanting to know about the cause of ptosis, which is spelled P-T-O-S-I-S, -S, which is droopy eyelid. So that's where, folks, I mentioned in the beginning, we don't look at those you know, difficult names or tags that something's been given. We're looking at the actual physical symptoms. So Dr. Wallach, what would cause a droopy eyelid? Okay, well, let's see here. Have you ever heard of the um, 12 pairs of cranial nerves? I've heard you mention them just once or twice. Okay, well, the, yeah, the optic nerve is number two. Okay, and then three and four and five, they kind of deal with all the tissues around the eyes. Okay. okay. And so um, when the skull, when you have osteoporosis of the skull is squeezing those optic nerves, they're the second largest of the 12 pairs of cranial nerves. They, they're made in the middle of the brain, come out through the skull to the back of the eye, but it goes through a tunnel in the skull. When you have osteoporosis of the skull, that tunnel starts closing. And I love my favorite picture of all time is on page six of that book. Um, it's all in your head. I think, yeah, if you'd show that to them. The top picture is a picture of a normal skull. The top of the skull has been cut off and you're looking down in the normal skull. You can see it's a quarter of an inch thick and you're looking down on the brain. The second one down in the bottom of the page is a skull with osteoporosis. The top of the skull has been removed. You're looking down on the brain, but the skull is an inch and a half to two inches thick. Well, not only in the surrounding bone uh, uh, in the skull, but the tunnels in which the 12 pairs of cranial nerves and the spinal cord go through are also reduced by 95%. So you're getting a squeezing of these nerves, okay, in the spinal cord, and that's what causes all these weird behaviors and diseases and so on. All right. Thank it's, you so it's much. All for reversible. That. It's all reversible. It's all reversible. Got to get rid of the bad foods so you can absorb, and you take the healthy brain and heart pack. Take the healthy brain and heart pack. You take the, um, let's see here. I also, uh, again, like the uh, um, uh, oh, more more plant-derived minerals. Okay. I like the Bell's. Well, Dr. Wellick, so I, I know when I first started and I had those cravings, I remember way back then you mentioning taking more plant-derived minerals, and I did. And those cravings stopped, the pica stopped. And I always wondered, you know, through my pregnancies, they would ask if you had cravings that were not food, like crayons and dirt and, um, oh, I can't remember all of them. But it's like, why on earth would somebody have cravings for non-food items? But as a farm kid, the horses were chewing on the wood corrals. Cribbing. Called a cribbing. And that was all part of pica as well. Yes. So, so many things to learn, Dr. Wallach. And we just thank you for all that you have done in order to make it possible for us to get that information. I also want to do a shout out to where we began and where you, Dr. Wallach, were on the radio for so many years, and that is with KSCO and KOMY. Do you want to give a shout out to Dave Michaels for keeping the program rolling 
on the radio there in the San Jose area. Yeah, maybe I said the wrong word, but San Francisco area, that whole area. Thank you, Dave. And thank you also to Michael Zerling, who is the man that's um, part of that as well, that started you, Dr. Wallach, on radio. So we just want to do a shout out and thank you for them. Um, and I know Phyllis Anderson and her husband, Andy Anderson, who's co-host, Phyllis is a co-host with us, that they are part of that as well. And I'm honored that we're able to continue keeping your message rolling. So let's go to the next hand that is up and Marilyn, go ahead and unmute yourself. What questions do you have today? Okay, hi everybody. Uh, I have a client, 49 years old, 150 pounds, 5'10", and he has a couple issues. He has symptoms associated with Raynaud's syndrome. His hands turn white and numb. He get, they get extremely cold. And more stress he has, the worse it gets. He also has symptoms related to costochondritis with its inflammation of cartilage that connects the rib to the sternum. He has pain when he inhales and exhales. It's almost like he's having a heart attack and he says it's random. Okay. Do we know uh, if he has anything uh, going on with uh, ringing in his ears? Did he complain about tinnitus or ringing in the ears? No, he has not complained about that. Does he complain about balance problems? No. Okay. Um, does he have high blood pressure? Um, it's about 130. Okay. Specialists, specialists are saying his heart has never been healthier. They've done a lot of exams on his heart, and they said it's very mm -hmm. healthy. Okay. Yeah. And so he's got osteoporosis of the skull here. Okay. And he's going to be squeezing the 10th cranial nerve, which goes all the way down to his toes, and giving him, you know, this uh, pale, painful thing going on in his fingers and his toes and all this kind of stuff, because the skull is squeezing that 10th cranial nerve up here, and it's affecting everything south of that, all the way down from his brain, all the way down to his toes. Okay. And um, this is very, very simple. Uh, he weighs 150 pounds. Is that correct? Yes. 5'10", 150 pounds, 49 years old. Okay. Okay. 150 pounds. All right. And so what he needs to do is get rid of all the bad foods. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, no barley, rye, no oats, no buckwheat, no sugar, no carbonated drinks. You know, the diet one's got to go. You can have our, our powder rebound if <clears throat> he wants an energy drink. Okay. Uh, that's, that's good. Uh, we drink that, uh, the powdered... Uh, rebound. <clears throat> we, we invented that for Theo Ratliff, <clears throat> energy for professional basketball player. But he also needs, at 150 pounds, he needs two healthy brain and heart packs per month, a full dose, I think, twice a day. And then we want him to have, I need to go ahead and take uh, three or vitamin D3 uh, capsules uh, twice a day. Uh, we also want him to have the, um, oh gosh, I, I'd go with the uh, beyond, let's see, uh, the, the, I wanted to go with the herbal rainforest also, because it'll relieve a lot of symptoms, itching, pain, um, inflammation, the herbal rainforest, go ahead and take an ounce of that three times a day. Okay. Ounce of breakfast, ounce of lunch, ounce of dinner time. And, um, let's see here. And also throw in some of the De-stress capsules, okay. I take uh, three of those twice a day. And uh, lastly, I would have them take three twice a day of the, let's see here. Um, I'd go I'd go with the I-26, three twice a day, the I-26, and get that white matter of the brain and spinal cord working, okay. And will this then help with that inflammation of the cartilage too that's connecting the rib to the sternum where he's getting that chest pain? Oh, well, yeah. Well, this is where the um, um, collagen, okay, will help. 
again, the collagen, uh, is, you can give him more of the, um, uh, what? Go with the... For Dr. Wallach, that helps to reduce inflammation and supportive of, of connective tissue. Yes. Okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Appreciate it. All so right. Then, yeah, get back to us because he's got a very common... Uh, what uh, accumulation of problems there and they're all nutritional deficiencies none of them are genetic even if his whole family's got the same thing they're all eating grandma's same recipes and that's why they all have the same thing well it's funny it's i think it's just him mm -hmm. but he's had it for years both and they haven't been out doctors can't figure out anything they can't tell him anything well that then then that assures me that it's a nutritional deficiency because doctors know nothing about nutritional deficiencies mm -hmm. okay thank you perfect okay thank you all right Thank you, Marilyn. Great questions. And let's go to the next hand that is up. And I'm going to ask him to unmute. And Chef, please unmute yourself. You are on with Dr. Wallach. And all I see is a video of the sky. Hello, can we hear you? Yeah, so what do you do if you or avoiding all the bad foods, eat clean, and still nothing works after months of trying. Okay. Uh, let's Especially see here. Are what? you living in a house with other people? Hello, do you live in a house with other people? No. Okay, so you live by yourself. So there's no cross-contamination. You do your own laundry or you take it to the laundromat or what? I do my own, so it's all perfectly clean and clear. Okay, good. How much do you weigh, sir? Uh, 220. Okay, do you have any specific symptoms like high blood pressure or diabetes or arthritis or anything? Uh, metabolic prediabetes kind of thing. Okay. So what you want to do then, get rid of all the bad foods. You say you've already done that, but get rid of all the bad foods. That's for our listeners. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat, butter, and oats, no buckwheat. No sugar, okay. No carbonated drinks, even the diet one's got to go. And then at 220, I want you to have two healthy brain and heart packs per month, a full dose of everything twice a day. That's a healthy brain and heart packs, two per month. That's a full dose of everything twice a day. Then I want you to have these sweeties. Go ahead and take three, three times a day, three at breakfast, three at lunch, three at dinner time. And that will begin to get your blood sugar under control, okay? And so um, we see people who had type 2 diabetes for 25 years and in two weeks it's gone but you have to stay on this on the sweeties forever i'm still taking i've been taking the sweeties since we made it like 30 years ago okay to take three twice a day and um you know people who visit and join me for breakfast they freak out when they see you know i have like i don't know 40 bottles on the kitchen table and i take three or two or whatever it is uh, out of each one of them twice a day <laughs> it freaks everybody out but I'm 85 and most people think I'm 50 when they look at me. And that's because I'm taking all these nutrients and I'm, I'm giving my body support to do their function, but I'm also giving the body the raw materials it needs to maintain and repair itself. That is very, very important. It, it requires nutrients. It doesn't just happen because you got genes. Well, and Dr. Wallach, one thing that I found whenever I, it, you know, I was getting to where I thought I was as good as I could get, but didn't think I was where I really should be, was adding that hypothalamus support because it also helped with cortisol. Um, the I-26? Yes. No, the hypothalamus support. Oh, the hypothalamus. Oh, okay. Yes. So, great question because, you know, sometimes we are doing everything right, according to even Dr. Wallach, and we get to where we've made some progress, but not quite reaching that point. And there are still things that are preventing us from being able to reach our optimal best. So thank you, Aaron, for bringing that question. Let's go on to Cynthia. Cynthia, go ahead and unmute yourself. Hello. Hi, how can we help you? Good afternoon, Doc. Thank you so much for staying the course with us. Doc, I have a friend. Her husband is about 56 years old, five feet seven, and I think maybe 120 pounds. He has lost quite a bit of weight. And about three weeks ago, he was diagnosed with stage two colon cancer. 
they had surgery, they opened him up, realized that it was it had spread to the liver and they did nothing. They just closed him back up and said there's not really much that they can do at this point. He's stage two colon cancer. What would you suggest, sir? <clears throat> okay. Again, these get rid of all the bad stuff. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, no barley, ran, oats, no buckwheat, no sugar, no carbonated drinks. And then at 120 pounds, I want him to have, um, in fact, if he's in this much trouble, he's only 120 pounds, but I'd have him take two healthy brain and heart packs a month, take a full dose of everything twice a day. I'd also, um, um, let's see here, have him take the... Um, uh, extra selenium, I'd have him take three of our selenium three times a day. So he'll have to get another bottle of selenium. There's a bottle of selenium <clears throat> with each of the healthy brain and heart packs, but he'll need another bottle. So he can take three at breakfast, three at lunch, or dinner time of our selenium, support the liver function, support the liver's healing ability, um, support the immune system. Very, very important. And I also get the, um, our enzymes. Get the two or three different types of enzymes and take one type of our enzymes at uh, breakfast, one time of our enzymes at dinner time, one time at lunchtime. Make sure you're absorbing all these nutrients. And um, it wouldn't hurt to rub our plant derived colloidal minerals, take a half a take a half a teacup three times a day on his front side, um, on his chest, on his upper belly and lower belly, and his back again three times a day. Of our colloidal silver, um, excuse me, our, just our colloidal minerals, our colloidal minerals, not, not colloidal silver, our colloidal minerals, and um, um, the between the shoulder blades, his upper back and lower back. I've had miracles happen in just days by rubbing these minerals, okay, our plant derived minerals on the skin on the outside. People who are in comas for two and a half months and 24 hours, they wake up from the coma. <laughs> totally different okay because they're absorbing these nutrients through their skin and so i would go that direction also but the liver is very important in the immune system um it, it has 50 different functions the liver is an enormous responsibility then of course your your kidneys are, are responsible for for your blood sugar um get, getting all the toxins and bad stuff out of your blood and you're putting in urine and urinating all the bad stuff out Okay, so these things are very important. And um, again, stay away from all the bad foods because the bad foods feed the cancer. And let's see if we can't add some many, many healthy years to this guy's life. Okay. Thank you so much, Doc. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Um, for well, God bless and thank you for God, being an angel. God. Thank you, sir. God bless you, Doc. Right. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank let's you, move Rebecca. right over to phyllis and let's see if we can get two more questions in doc okay phyllis, go ahead and unmute yourself yes uh hello doc yes ma'am um kareen on youtube has a sister her sister is 62 years old 175 pounds five foot three she is facing a liver transplant she has a lesion on her liver also, her sister has, I'm not familiar with this, Pharisee's veins in bands around her neck. Now, you jumped over to her sister, right? It, yeah, it's all about her sister. Okay, so she's got liver issues. Um, do you know if it's like hepatitis B or is it um, liver cirrhosis or what has she got? Apparently, she has a lesion. That's uh, all the information we have. And then she mentioned this thing called Pharisee's veins with bands around her neck. I don't, I'm not familiar with that. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like varicose veins to me. Okay. All right. Oh, I, yeah, I think you're right. It meant to be varicose. <laughs> That's AI for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, how much does she weigh? <laughs> It's 175 oh. pounds, five foot three. And it's a he or a she? It's a, a woman. Okay. All right. So needs to get rid of all the bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no white, wheat, brother, ran oats, no buckwheat, no sugar, no carbonated drinks. Then two healthy brain and heart packs a month, a full dose thing twice a day. I want her to also get our extra selenium. So you can take three selenium at breakfast, three at lunch, three at dinner time. 
Um, I want her also to take our, <clears throat> excuse me, um, let's see here. I want her to take our Ultimate Daily Classic. Go ahead and take three of those three times a day. That's going to get blood flowing everywhere properly, including in the neck. Okay. And it, it wakes up the, the veins and, and the arteries and the heart and the liver uh, all over the place and the intestines, the brain, very important. And uh, let's see here. And also more, um, I want her to do the enzymes. Go ahead and do, uh, get our ultimate enzymes. So you can take a three, 10, 15 minutes for each meal. And that's going to help absorb more nutrition. Okay. And let's start there. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Doc. Well, God bless you and keep up the great work. All right. Thank you, Phyllis. And Dr. Wallach, one more question here before we end the show. So I have Mary Patrice. She is um, 115 pounds, five foot two. I believe she's mid fifties. Um, in 2015, she had three thyroid nodules. They put her on um, a steroid and also some chemo drugs. And then she had an ultrasound last year and now there's five filling up most of her thyroid. The biopsy shows that they are negative for that C word, but she wants to know how can she get rid of these nodules she also has osteoporosis. Okay. Well, again, we said earlier that um, uh, treating diseases with um, pain relievers and other symptomatic treatment uh, doesn't solve the problem. Okay, this sounds like one of those issues. So, at 115 pounds, she's one healthy brain and heart pack per month, a full dose, excuse me, half a dose twice a day. Then I want her to have our Ocean's Gold. I want her to have three of those three times a day, three at breakfast, three at lunch, three at dinner time, because, oh, these, these lumps in her thyroid aren't cancer, okay? The, the, the thyroid's trying to do something here, but it's, it's making more cells, but they're not working because it's not getting the raw materials it needs. So it does need the uh, Ocean's Gold three, three times a day. And then osteoporosis, I do want her to have um, let's see here, uh, OsteoFX, beyond OsteoFX, uh, two doses a day. Um, then I want her to have um, the vitamin D3, three of those twice a day. And um, I would also go with the Caltati, can take the Caltati, take a full ounce of that twice a day. And let's start there. All right, so that's going to be the brain and heart pack with an extra canister of that osteo FX, a liquid cow toddy, which it, its dose of that is only going to be two tablespoons, so one capful. And then you also mentioned the vitamin D3. So why would you mention vitamin D3 for osteoporosis, Dr. Wallach? Well, vitamin D3 helps you absorb and utilize calcium. I guess that's a good enough reason to take it, right? Yep. And of course, and it, does she also have the thyroid issue? Yes. Okay. Well, don't don't forget, you know, three doses a day uh, of the Ocean's Gold. Ocean's Gold. All right. Thank you so much for that, Dr. Wallach. And thank you so much for continuing, even though you're kind of like semi-retiring or modifying your schedule a little bit so that we can have a little bit of you in multiple different places instead of a lot of you in all places we just want to thank you for continuing this crusade as our leader and folks i've had meals with dr wallach and his vitamins take up a third of the table <laughs> so i get a corner when i visit but that's okay it's okay because I just helped myself to them too, but so you're, you're a vitamin, you're a mineral. I'm definitely made of them and I'm continuing <laughs> to put them into my body. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. And that's why I'm able to continue to do what I do also, Doc. And we appreciate that's what you do. You're an angel of God, and we appreciate that. And just I know you'll be around a long time because you're doing the good Lord's work. <laughs> Marilyn's saying you have to make room for me, Doc. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thankfully thankfully i don't take up the space i used to so i i can say thank you to that one for that one too hey i'll take whatever space i get at your table and also within this crusade and if i can get my co-hosts up on the screen with me i just want to do a shout out and a thank you to them because without them we couldn't do this program either it takes more than just one person folks to reach as many platforms as we do. And I'm so glad that I don't have to do it by myself. We have Marilyn, who if you are not live with us, you don't, you can't appreciate all the work that she does throughout a program as she is doing transcription into the chat for HIPAA reasons. We do not share this information. We wanna help to maintain the privacy of those that come on with us. You don't want to have it out in the world for all to see it, the rest of their lives, our lives. So thank you, Marilyn, for all that you do there. Uh, Phyllis does some of that as well, especially when, when Marilyn's not here. She's also out on the different social media platforms and helping to put information and field those questions from those platforms, bringing them into the show as time allows. We have Ruth Allen, who is the executive production manager here, who helps to keep us all organized and on task. We have Albert way down south in South Africa, who is helping to let people in and also keeping an eye on the chat and the cameras for our security. And uh, him and Jeffrey. I like Jeffrey, the cool draft in the background, who actually lives in his backyard. And we have Al, uh, AJ who is helping to get all of these platforms set up and streaming and rolling and oh he does so much folks and he, i am so thankful that um he decided to walk away from that big money job and uh, not fall into the trap that many have fallen into folks you can take your skills and put them to work for good. It takes time to build your own business, but it's so worth it. And if you have skills that you would like to share in promoting a message like ours, make sure that you get back to the person that shared this program with you. We have an amazing message. We have an amazing line of products that support that message of being able to thrive not just survive and if there's nobody that you're working with make sure that you get back with us you can use info at dailywithdoc.com submit your email to us there or give us a call on our 800 number 855-949-3377 there is always room at dr wallach's table in this crusade to save humanity. My name is Becca Dukes. Thank you again for joining us here. We want to thank all of the people that joined us live in the live stream and in the future for Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays right now. If you'd like to join us live on our Zoom, you may do so by going to dailywithdoczoom.com. That's dailywithdoczoom.com. Mon uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday from 12 to 1 Pacific time. So folks, thank you for joining us. Thank you for all of those out on Rumble and Facebook and YouTube. Those are the questions and the comments that I see. Um, you are all fantastic in taking that time and investing in yourself with knowledge. Have a great one. Thank you, Becca. Thank you, team. God bless everybody. Thank you, Becca. Thank you, team. God Thank bless you. everybody. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Recording.